Welcome back to Impact Math with Ms. Taylor. Alrighty, we have a GED. We're gonna be working on fraction problems, okay? So 18 out of every 24 people surveyed say they went to at least one movie in December. What fraction of the people surveyed went to at least one movie in December? December. Okay, so 18. So we're gonna do 18 out of 24. And we're gonna reduce this. So what we're thinking about is what does a number, what is a number that goes into both of these? So if you're not good at that, well, just ask yourself what times what gives you 18? Well, two times nine does. And then what times what gives you 24? Two times 12, okay? So we can cancel out these twos and now we have nine over 12. Well, nine over 12 still has something in common. Okay, so what, can, what times what gives you nine? Well, that's three times three. And what times what gives you 12? Three times four. So the threes cancel out. So we're left with three over four, which is A. Okay. And there's a different way that if you know right away that six goes into both of these, you could have just done it by six, right? But that's only if you're good at your multiplication, if you can see it. So 18 divided by six is three and 24 divided by six is four. So there's multiple ways to get to your answer. Whatever works for your brain, you do that method, okay? Okay, let's go to the next. Which of the following fractions equals two fifths? So if we're gonna have two fifths, and I'm looking at all my answer choices, they all have 100 at the bottom. Well, I'm thinking five times what can give me 100? So if I do five times 20, that's gonna give me 100. But what I do to the bottom, I must also do to the top. So two times 20 is gonna give me 40. And that's why C is equal to two fifths. A batch of salad dressing requires one and two thirds cups of olive oil a half cup of vinegar, and three-fourth cups of water. How many cups of salad dressing will this recipe produce? So the first thing we want to do is we want to change this mixed number into an improper fraction, okay? And so how we do that is we times, then add. So let me do it step by step. So we're going to do the denominator, three, times the whole number, one, plus two, and we keep that all over three, okay? So three times one is three plus two, and three plus two is five over three, okay? Now it wants to know how many cups of salad dressing will this produce? So we're gonna add this five thirds plus one half plus three fourths to figure out how much we have in total. But the problem is, in order to add fractions, you have to have the same denominator. So what we're thinking about is what does three, two, and four go into? Well, what they both go into is 12, okay? So now that I know that I need these numbers at the bottom to be 12, I can say three times what gives me 12? Well, three times four. And what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. And then two times what gives me 12? Well, two times six gives me 12. And then last but not least, four times what gets you 12? Three, three. So now let's simplify this, right? Five times four gets us 20. And three times four gets us 12. Six times one gets us six. Two times six gets us 12. And three times three gets us nine. And four times three gets us 12. Okay, so now we're gonna add our numerator. So 20 plus six gets us 26 over 12. Remember your denominator stays the same. Plus nine twelfths. 
And 26 plus 9 is going to give us, well, let's do it over here. 26 plus 9, 9 plus 6 gives us 15. Carry the 1. And 2 plus 1 gets us 35. So we would equal to 35 over 12. Well, all of our answers are in mixed numbers, but we have two that are only equaling in 12. So we just gave ourselves a 50-50 chance. So now let's change this to a mixed number. And how we do that is we take our bottom divided by our numerator. Okay. So we're asking ourselves how many 12s can fit into 35? Well, look at your answers. You only have two or three. So two can fit into 35. So two times 12 gets us 24. And then we're gonna minus, so we get three minus two is one, four, five minus four is one. So we're left over with 11. So we take our remainder and put it over what we're dividing by. And so C is our answer. Alrighty, let's go to the next. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and please share. Thank you for your support. Let's get into the number four. To make the top of a dining room table, Craig get glues a piece of oak that is 5 16 inch thick to a piece of pine that is 7 8 inch thick. What is the total thickness in inches of a tabletop? So this is huge right here, total. So when I'm trying to find the total, what that, tell, what that is telling me to do is I'm gonna add 5 16 plus 7 eighths. Again, remember when you're adding fractions, you have to have the same denominator. That's the same bottom number. So you have to think about what does 16 and eight go into? Well, 16 can go into 16 and 8 can go into 16. So our LCM, least common multiple, is 16. So now I have to ask myself, this is perfect because it's already 16 down here. How can I change this 8 to 16? Well, 8 times 2 will give us 16. And what I do to the bottom, I must also do to the top. So 7 times 2 gets us 14. And 8 times 2 gets us 16. And so we have 5 sixteenths. So 5 plus 14 gets us 19 over 16. Okay, now let's change this to a mixed number. So we're going to do 16 into 19. And we're asking ourselves, how many 16s can we fit into 19? One 16 can fit. So 1 times 16 gets a 16, and let's minus. 19 minus 16 gets us our 3. And so this is what we have left over. And hopefully you're looking at your answer choices right now because you shouldn't even have to write the rest. You would just go to B, and that's your answer. But this is where we're learning, right? So we're going to put 3 on top, and what we divide by, we put on the bottom. So it's 1 and 3 sixteenths is our total thickness. All righty. At a fabric store, Melissa sold 8 and 7 eighths yards of cloth to a customer. If the material was cut from a bolt of fabric containing 23 and 1 fourth yards, how many yards are left on the bolt? Okay, so if we're trying to figure out how many are left, what we need to do with these two things is we're going to subtract them. So we're going to do 23 and 1 fourth minus 8 and 7 eighths. Again, remember, whenever you're minusing, you need to have the same denominator. So we need to change this 4 into an 8. And we're going to do that by timesing by 2. So we're going to rewrite. So we're going to get 23 and two fourths minus eight and seven eighths. Oops, eight here, four times two is eight, okay? Now we still have a problem because we cannot take away two from seven. 
So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna borrow a one from this 23. So we're gonna make this into 22. And the one that we borrowed, we're gonna make it a one over one, okay? And then we're gonna add that to the two eighths. But again, if we wanna add this, remember we need this to be the same denominator. So we're gonna really be eight over eight, okay? And then we can add these. Well, eight plus two gets us 10. So really we're having 22 10 eighths. And we're gonna minus that from eight seven eighths. So now we can do 10 minus seven, which gives us three. Our denominator stays the same. And 22 minus eight gives us 14. So A would be how much fabric we have left on the boat. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope this blesses you. And thank you for sharing, commenting, and um, watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.